the conservative government has consistently shown its disdain for cannabis. And now that nearly 100 illegal medical cannabis stores are thriving in Vancouver, the conservative government wants the city to shut them down. While the shops aren't new, Health Minister Rona Ambrose spoke up after Vancouver officials announced new regulations that she says would normalize cannabis, increasing use and addiction. In reality, the changes put forth in Vancouver would regulate a market that's already operating in the city. It's even being called a crackdown by Vancouver officials, as about a quarter of cannabis shops currently open will close as a result of the harsh regulations. The new rules would only permit pot shop ownership to people with clean criminal records, ban the sale of edibles, limit where shops can open, and force shop owners to pay about $35,000 in annual fees. These changes will make owning a dispensary and starting a new one difficult without a lot of resources, but at least the Vancouver market isn't being shut down. However, it's still unclear if the federal conservatives will intervene. The RCMP could be called on to enforce federal laws. Despite this, the new regulations in Vancouver have led to other cities in BC looking to regulate medical cannabis dispensaries, like Victoria, where cannabis shops already operate. Other cities in BC aren't taking the chance. The RCMP raided and shut down several shops in Kelowna and Burnaby, for example, while Surrey and North Vancouver already have bylaws prohibiting medical cannabis dispensaries. Even though most cities in BC have come down hard on pot shops, Officials say their actions are a result of strict federal laws. Several BC mayors, like Burnaby Mayor Derek Corrigan, don't think the federal government has done enough to regulate the medical cannabis market. Corrigan said, right now this is completely a no man's land. The federal government has handled it so incompetently, it's left the province with no direction to take. North Vancouver Mayor Richard Walton agreed, saying, I don't think council is against medical marijuana. We've come in and used a pretty heavy hammer until the federal government gives us clarity on this. Finally, Jonathan Cote, mayor of New Westminster, also agreed that mayors shouldn't be handling a federal issue, adding that U.S. cannabis legalization has changed the landscape. It's clear that the federal conservatives have to get their act together. They need to realize that cannabis is a medicine and that smart cannabis reforms are important to Canadians.